your list of crimes are rather intriguing. <laughs> Instead of being sent further and further away from the city, though, you manage to land a spot in the palace. You've run away from multiple masters is what I'm finding. So why anybody would bring you here? That means someone liked you. Usually runaways like you are made examples of. So that means multiple people have liked you. Or you're too charming. Hmm? Oh, no, no, no. Or there's another answer. One of the gods has shown that they like you. Is it set? <laughs> oh, it doesn't really matter which of the gods that like you do. I'm really the only one that matters in this case, aren't I? Because I'm the one who decides what happens next. Oh, no, 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 no. Sending you down to the dungeons to be tortured, maimed, killed. After what you did? <laughs> you made a fool of me in my own banquet. I had all of the major players around the world that matter there. <laughs> you can't exactly have Julius Caesar himself praising you in one hand than having one of your slaves so blatantly, so <sighs> audaciously showing that they do not respect their pharaoh. Ah, <sighs> so I've decided to devise a new a little way of ensuring that the kingdom knows who's the head bitch in charge here. I'm going to let you go. <laughs> I said, I'm going to let you go. No, there's no joke about it. There's nothing silly. I'm going to let you walk out that door and you will have exactly 12 hours according to that sundial right there. And if you manage to be able to get away from me, kudos. But I know you won't, because I have my chariot already being put together. I am going to hunt you down in a grand spectacle. I am going to have people all around. In fact, they're announcing it now in all of the town squares that the great hunt is on for the dumbest little mouse. Well, yes, that's what I'm going to call you, because the cat is going to capture the little sweet mousy, aren't I? Mm. And I'm absolutely going to have you for lunch. <laughs> no, no, you fit that a part of a mouse. You know, you're going to have to have your ears big and wide on a constant swivel. You're going to be skittering around and hiding. And you're going to know what it's like to have an entire city out to get to you. Because while I'll be the one that lands the final blow, I wouldn't smirk so much. Might be funny to hear me say blow right now, but when I have my arrow pointed right at your dome, <laughs> the only one smiling is going to be me. But don't worry, I'm not going to sink my arrow tip right into the center of your skull until I have sunk a few into your legs. I'll avoid your knees because, well, you won't be taking an arrow to the knee anytime soon. <laughs> I'm going to put a few in those very, very, um, hmm, your hands are a lot bigger than mine. I might put a couple into your back. I want to see you sink down and then hunch over. And as I take those winning, victorious steps towards you, I want the last thing for you to see are my sandals as I press them to your lips and strike you down like the wild animal you are. 
What? <laughs> Tough talk. Would you like to repeat that to me? Oh, I'm the one that's the animal. <laughs> Say it again. That's what I thought. You're so tough. You're so big, bad, and brave when you have an audience. But the moment I grab you by the back of the neck and I have you face to face with me, you do nothing. Oh, you do nothing because I hold you in chains. Would you rather me to release you, huh? Because I bet you'll still do nothing. Because you know, if you take so much as a step towards me, we'll end you now. And even if you were to harm me, then you'll just be releasing my brother onto these lands and have him be the ruler. And no one wants that Ptolemy being able to make laws. <laughs> Mad king indeed. So back to what I was saying. You are going to be the best hunting trip that I ever had, the most brilliant triumph that this city has ever seen. We're going to bring your body back half dead because I want you to see the throngs of crowds that are cheering for your demise as I bring you back to the palace walls and have you sit down here and then we tear into your entrails so we can wear them as meat scarves so that we can bathe in your blood as it comes spewing out of your veins. Nice, warm, and mm, utterly delicious. And as the life drains from your eyes, the rebellion will be quenched in the bellies of all that watch you, the squeamish little. <laughs> what? Well, yes, this is contingent upon if I find you. But honestly, if you manage to get away, it is just proof that maybe the gods don't shine on my reign. But they will. And you will not be escaping this time. You're a cat whose lives you have ex- Depended on the dumbest endeavors. And this final one is one that I am orchestrating, so it's going to go pretty well. I was able to get rid of my brothers off of this throne. Your other crimes? Yes, I've heard of them. Petty thefts here and there, what? Hmm? <laughs> Fine, do, do tell me. What? Drove you out of the kingdom you're from. Well, that would make sense how you got a royal position if you worked in another royal court. The princess. <laughs> you, a princess, stooped so low as to fall in love with you and you tried to run away with her. Hmm? What is a werebear? Sorry, I've never heard of such a thing. So you were supposed to capture and kill this princess for her king, daddy, fell in love with her and tried to escape with her. And now you're here. What happened to her? You're the one that volunteered the information. Shouldn't you be the one to tell me? No, it doesn't matter. Truth be told, I don't care what happened to her. You're here now. And if you think trying to get me to fall in love with you is going to work, I sincerely doubt it. Again, you're going to be released here soon, and you're going to have 12 hours to hide. How do you think you're going to get me to change your fate? How are you going to make me fall in love with you while running from me? Just let me tell you, there is nothing that makes me drier than the Sahara Desert than <laughs> watching someone be so, 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 so pathetic. That's the word. No, submission is actually quite sexy. 
But watching you have to be prey and hunted down, mm, it's going to be very difficult to get word back to me to make me want to do anything to spare your life, much less keep you around here. But whatever. Doesn't matter. I'm going to send for my guards to release you soon. <laughs> oh, one thing before I go. Stand up straight. I said stand up straight. I don't like having to repeat myself. <laughs> hmm? Oh, well, I just wanted to give you a quick kiss before we release you. Oh, darling, that's the kiss of death. Because I will be stalking you. <laughs> I will be absolutely listening for every footfall that you give, every twig that you crack, every step of your sandal on sand, every single breath that you take, every time you find something to eat or drink. I will not be too far off. More importantly, I will absolutely be waiting for the time that I get to do that again. But it'll be after there's no more air in your lungs, no more will to continue fighting. <laughs> and when you begin your journey over the river sticks, my darling. <laughs> Ta-da! Run quick, little mouse. Hey guys, you know, Alexander here. Look, I made another crazy one. Um, I want to say sorry for last night. I was on Discord. I did not live stream on YouTube. I will be live streaming today though. Why? Because uh, d d Super excited. I hope you guys will be able to join us tonight. Uh, we'll be continuing the campaign. I'm sorry, not all of our stuff has been streamed. Um, Sometimes stuff happens in the sidebar that I don't want to uh, have shown for privacy reasons on YouTube. It's like one thing to have someone say something on Discord. It is another thing to have people seeing it, uh, seeing it for in perpetuity till the end of time. Once on the internet, always on the internet. Anyways, um, so inspiration for this series, I um, I have been a little obsessive in my life before. I will not say that I've gone to these links, but I've had thoughts of like, oh my gosh, I want this person back and what would I be willing to do? And then sometimes, um, you know, deep feelings, especially when there's um, deep feelings, especially when there was once a lot of uh, good feelings there and when they begin to turn, can turn into a little bit of obsession and anger. So you have to be careful with that. Again, I'm on the other side of this. Thank goodness for therapy. No unsolicited advice, please. Um, but I thought it would make for an interesting series of seeing um, someone hunt down someone else while the other person wants to work it out. But also the other person is um, on a self-destructive slash just plain destructive path. So anyways, thought it could be fun. I kind of already have an idea for part two. I've been doing a lot of one, one offs that I do have part twos and stuff planned for. We'll see how it goes. Anyways, guys, thank you everybody who has joined on Patreon. Um, it means so, so much. It's in the pinned comment below. No one has to do it, but for those who can and those who would like to, it means the world. It means I can keep making these audios, especially since this channel has been demonetized. Yay. Um, and for those who might want to just make a one-time donation there i'm actually going to go back and see if there's a mass way i can add in my stream lab so you guys can donate there if you like because some people have been asking since we can't do super thanks anymore um of how they can do that so i since enough of you have asked i feel like i could do it now we'll see anyways guys i love you and i'll see you in the next video bye